In this video, I'll be discussing Idera's SQL Server performance monitoring, alerting, and diagnostic tool, namely SQL Diagnostic Manager, also known as SQL DM. As a tool designed to be used by DBAs, one of the core functionality of the product is the ability to generate alerts, which allows DBAs to become aware of possible performance issues. Given that this is an important feature, SQL DM provides a couple of options as to how alerts are generated. To better explain, let's take a look at the product itself. As you can see, I have the SQL DM desktop client open, and we're currently viewing the SQL DM Today View window. On the Active Alerts tab, you'll see the various alerts that have been raised in my environment. All of these alerts have been generated based on thresholds that have been configured for each metric that's being monitored by SQL DM. To view the list of metrics and their defined thresholds, we'll need to navigate to the Alert Configuration window, which can be accessed a couple different ways. The first way is to right-click on an alert of interest and select Configure Alerts. And you can see here the alert configuration is open. The other way is to right-click on the monitored SQL Server instance name and then again select Configure Alerts. As you can see, there's a number of different metrics on which SQL DM can alert upon. Some of these metrics are enabled while others are disabled. If there's a particular metric that you're interested in receiving alerts on, you'll want to make sure that it's enabled. By default, these metrics are grouped by category then by the name of the metric. Personally, I have difficulty remembering the name of the category and prefer an ungrouped view of the list of metrics. By unchecking this group by checkbox, the list of metrics will automatically be updated to be listed alphabetically by the metric name itself. This allows me to quickly and easily find the particular metric that I'm looking for rather than having to recall the category name. In this video, however, I really want to talk about configuring thresholds. Generally speaking, thresholds are key to how SQL DM generate alerts. SQL DM uses these threshold settings to determine whether a metric is in an OK, informational, warning, or a critical state. Let's take a look at the days since last backup metric as an example. Once the metric is selected, the right-hand side of the window updates to where you can see the configuration of that particular metric. Clicking on the Edit window will open up a window where I can change the threshold settings. For example, I can change the warning threshold so that SQL DM can alert me when it detects that a data database has not been backed up for two days. This is a good example of a static threshold. Next, I want to take a look at baseline thresholds. But first, we'll need to talk about baselines. As a monitoring tool, SQL Diagnostic Manager gathers and stores data in its repository database for historical analysis, such as creating baselines. Baselines are essentially used to determine what is to be considered normal in your environment. To configure a baseline, simply click on the Configure Baseline button. On the Monitored SQL Server Properties window, this is where you can define the baseline period. By default, SQL Diagnostic Manager creates a single baseline from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the normal work days. However, you may want to create baselines for different periods of the day depending on peak periods. For example, by clicking the Manage Baseline button, opens up the Manage Baseline window. On this window in my environment, you can see that I have three different baselines created, each for a particular part of the day. For example, this evening option covers from the time period of 5 p.m. To midnight, Monday through Friday. I can leverage these baselines when configuring alert thresholds. By doing so, metric thresholds are then dynamic, adjusting based on the time of day and the baseline values. This comes in handy when you want to be aware of unusual activity on the SQL Server instance. For example, let's take a look at the SQL Server CPU usage metric. But first, let's cancel out all of these windows and go back to the alert configuration window. I know that the SQL Server CPU usage metric is the one of the resource categories. So give me a second here and let me find that category. Oops. Here we go. You can see here how I currently have the SQL Server CPU usage percent metric configured. If SQL DM detects that the CPU usage is 75 or higher, a warning alert will be generated. If SQL DM detects that the CPU usage is 90% or higher, it will generate a critical alert. This is great for the normal work hours. However, 
if during the off peak hours, perhaps 50% usage is something to be of concern when the normal trend is probably around 10 to 15% as an example. In situations like that, you, won't, you would not get alerts when CPU usage is 50% during the off peak hours. If you're interested in something like that, you would want to enable the baseline thresholds and of course have a baseline configured to, to cover the schedule that you're interested in. What this will do is tell SQL DM to alert based on what values we've created or calculated for the baseline value of at that time period. For instance, here you can see that the warning level is set to 100. Now what that is is 100%. So if um, the CPU usage is 90 and the baseline value happens to be 90 as well, then that would be 100% of the baseline. So here we would create a warning alert. And the same goes for, our, let's say, during our off-peak hours. If the normal usage is 10%, for example, but we determine that CPU usage is 50%, well, that's well above um, 100% or even 120% which is indicated here by the critical, we would then raise a critical alert. Using baseline thresholds can be a bit confusing when you start off. However, it's important to remember that the values that you set for the threshold are percentage comparisons to the baseline value. On that note, this wraps up what I wanted to cover regarding alerts in SQL DM. I hope you found this video helpful and please check our website if you would like to learn more about SQL Diagnostic Manager. Thank you.